Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some commentary video about my sparring. It was really light contact MMA sparring and actually this was my very very first MMA sparring in my life. So let's get started. So we just start with some boxing and as you can see we going really easy and soft it's more like control fighting it's not about uh, proving anything it's just about learning i always trying to make for myself some missions i decided to try part the punches by my elbows because some people thinking that it's not possible to block in with your elbows when somebody threw punches at you and i was about to try it and actually i could do a few times so yeah, I was actually happy about this. Uh, in the sparring we have uh, three cameras from the three different places. You can see them on the screen. We have a GoPro, Michael's camera and my other camera. So this is why we could switch the angles for this video and we could make it without a camera person. But I prefer to have a camera person in this kind of videos. Here, this is special Michael's combo, and he do this quite often in his sparrings. And I kind of knew what he going to do after the first kick. Yeah, and now we're just playing around. Oh, Michael make uh, switch kicks. This was my plan for doing this in this fight too. Here we get some kind of clinch and. Yeah, I think I did pretty well to not get down because I know that Michael started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and if he go down probably he going to win this really quick. I have uh, some Judo background but Brazilian Jiu Jitsu allowed more techniques than we can because in Judo you can do only elbow locks so he can do much more. I was also trying to do some trapping technique but they are not so crazy actually I think I have pretty good uh, defensive but I'm not so good with offensive but normally in the sparrings I yeah every time when I'm fighting preferring to waiting for the mistakes of my opponents I was always the waiting guy I am trying to now go all the time forward and do something but still I am better with defense than offense so Second things what I decided to do in the sparring was to to make a jump sw switch kick, and actually I did it. It wasn't the best, but I did it. Yeah, so let's go further. And here we exchange some kicks, and yeah, it going really easy. Here Michael do some combinations, and I try to block in, and yeah. And here again we just playing around and. Yeah, buying some time. And here again I try to avoid the takedown. And here I decided to go for takedown, but because we was outside and I don't know if it's something hard or not, I, tr I decided to take him slowly down and not jump with him down. Because I didn't want to injure him or myself. So this is why I did this really slow. But when he go down, as you can see, he already start to do his game because he's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy now. Here you cannot see, but when we when I was on the top, I hit with my elbow his solar place so I tried to take some time for myself so I can run away. He's a soft sparring so I didn't do this hard. About this one, I, I don't like it this in MMA because I have this judo habit that when we are on the ground is allow only to grappling. I don't feel comfortable punching on the ground. But I am not MMA guy so maybe I have to just learn that. I feel bad doing this but still I did this because this was my MMA sparring so I tried to do I tried to play in this game yeah 
this is the worst things for me what I can do especially when somebody is heavier than me here I knew that he going to do uh, Kimura but I, 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 I could run away and now he do uh, he tried to go for the tricon so I am, I am already out of gas <laughs> as you can see yeah and now he made it so I had to tap it yeah so so this was it yes so I know that I didn't show myself in the best light in this video in the sparring but I took this as a lesson as I normally do because for me sparring is a training fighting where you have to learn it's not about beating each other up but not everyone see this this way but doesn't matter this is how I see I think I would like to do more often training like this even I know that I don't feel comfortable but this is why I want to do this more often because I feel not comfortable and if I need this I would like to be ready in the future if I need if I going to be in this kind of situation so it's good to train something like this because you never know what's happening in the fight so if you have some advices for me leave a comment and tell me about this and maybe I'm going to learn something because you give me some advice and I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching see you next time